Okay, today we're gonna we're gonna start talking about ellipses, and an, an ellipse uh, technically is a circle that's viewed at an angle. So if you have a circle, a disc, and you lean it away from you, what you see is what appears as an ellipse. <clears throat> and there's two um, two measurements to an ellipse. One is the major axes, and the other is the minor axes. And of course, in AutoCAD, we have multiple ways of drawing them. Um, so to start with, I, I've got a set of center lines drawn here, and you can draw you a, a set <clears throat> uh, to follow along. And uh, up here, you get your pull down. There are two different types. You've got the center, uh, where you specify the center point of it, and in the two radii, and in the axis end. Uh, we're going to start with the center, and it asks me to specify the center of the ellipse. And then it, it doesn't matter which way you go. If, if you go up or you or you go across, it doesn't matter. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come across, and I'm going to give it a radius of 1.5. And now it's asking for the other one. And it could be major, it could be minor. Uh, and this one, I'll give it a radius of 1. And there's there's my ellipse. And so if I if I select it and look at the properties, it gives me the center point, the, th the three comma four. It gives me a major radius and a minor radius. Okay. So the other option is if you were fitting it inside of a box, where you know the endpoints, but not so much the center point of it. And y this this could be done on the uh, in a rectangle like this, or it could be done with uh, center lines, either way. So we choose the axis end, and then we pick the two endpoints. So I'm going to go with the midpoints of those two points, and that's how you create it. And the other option up there was, was for an elliptical arc, which pretty much works the same way with those things. Now, next topic is, is going to be points. And we can place points, which are just that. It's a point in our drawing. And most of the time, you would use these as a as like an indicator. It could be an annotation of some type, uh, or you use it uh, to lay out splines, or you want to divide a line into equal segments, uh, something along those ways. But before we, uh, we start placing points, we need to check and see what your point settings are, your point style. Uh, so we'll go P style. I think, no, I typed that wrong. Where's my note? Uh, oh, P type. Sorry. P type, point type. Okay. By default, this is going to be the default one right here. And it's just a dot. And by default, it's going to be set relative to screen size, which I think by default is like 5%. And so it doesn't matter which one of these you select. If you leave it as relative to screen, then when you zoom in and zoom out, it, it will change sizes. So let's we're going to pick this one because it's easier to see. And we're going to make it in absolute units and make it a quarter of an inch tall. And then OK. And then our command up here, points, or type in point, and you know you can specify where you want them. So uh, I'll say uh, six comma seven. Uh, what eight comma seven? You know. Okay, so that's points. Pretty easy. Um, splines. Or like a polyline, um, we have two different ways of drawing them. The first one is the spline fit, in which you draw the points, and then the curves fit and pass through the points. The other is the control vertices, where you draw the points, and the lines that connect those points are what control the spline. So we'll go with spline fit, um, and and we'll just you know place a few points here. 
and then when you right click to end it uh, enter will end it but you could also if you look down in your command line down there uh, you could go with tangent to make that particular end of it tangent to something else okay and so we'll say okay and then select it and you see the points that I that I placed are on the actual spline itself but the curve matches those points and goes through those points so if I go with the other with the control vertices action um, and you can see now as I'm drawing it it's putting these lines in that control it and so that's what controls the shape of the spline is those vertices okay um, and I, you can you know when, when you're drawing this of course you're just not going to draw it willy-nilly wherever it's going to go you're going to have specific points most of the time you're going to have you're, you're going to draw a point based spline where they pass through a known point that could be done with point files or you know point objects or it could be done with intersection of construction lines uh, this would be I, I I really I cannot remember a time when I have used the control vertices to draw a spline uh, but that's not saying that you won't um, but there's you can adjust them uh, you know there's lots of adjustments that you can make to it uh, but that's uh, drawing splines and we'll we'll use this later on this semester we've got an assignment where we're drawing parallelograms and we use a spline command to draw that with because it's it's a consistent curve passing through a, a series of known points but it does not have a constant radius and so we use the spline command to do that with but that's coming up later